Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian Franz with Sentinel Emergency Solutions. We're the Rosenbauer dealers in Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. And behind me, we have a new delivery for the Monarch Fire Protection District, which is here in St. Louis County, Missouri. So just want to do a quick walk around video, kind of give you a tour of everything taking place with this heavy rescue for Monarch. It's their first Rosenbauer and one of only a couple heavy rescues here in St. Louis. So a uh, pretty neat truck with a lot of cool features. So let's get started, do a quick walk around. Here at the front of the truck, we got a 26-inch uh, extended bumper with a raised lid. Um, they got a cord reel up inside of here, talking about uh, some different tools and things that they're going to store up here, but just a huge area for storage uh, here in the front bumper. This is our Commander uh, chassis, which is a 70-inch long, 24-inch raised roof, one of the biggest trucks that we make. One of the neat things with the Commander, though, is fluid fills and checks right here in the front. So you got coolant, uh, coolant fill, coolant check, engine oil, power steering, washer fluid, all that stuff is right here in the front of the truck. Single piece windshield, weigh the warning lights, uh, and then the FireTech 72 inch LED brow light. So let's make our way down the uh, passenger side here. So like I said, 24 inch raised roof, which starts over the driver and the officer, gives you a ton of room, ton of interior storage, multiplexed uh, firecom, wireless headset system. Two rear facing seats, pretty neat custom cabinet on the back of the doghouse. Some custom tool mounts from Profusion. They did a really good job with some plastic welding. One thing that's cool inside the cab is a uh, dive changing area. Uh, there's a pretty big area inside the L1 and R1 compartments that allows guys to go inside the cab, change. They're going to have uh, storage um, for batteries, things like that, all inside the cab. Another unique thing is this compartment on the back. The plan is to put uh, tall, um, like New York hooks and things like that, right here on the outside of the cab rather than storing big things on the inside. Just a ton of compartment space, ton of storage, new Hearst hydraulic tools. Again, Profusion made a uh, custom mount for that. Inside of here, we got a Bauer breathing air compressor, 20 horsepower compressor, uh, space saver fill station, high pressure, low pressure air, all in this area. And then there's four uh, 6,000 PSI ASME cylinders, which is pretty cool. One thing I forgot to mention too are the uh, small compartments down underneath there for cribbing, things like that. Again, just some huge storage areas inside of here. One thing that's neat and kind of unique to this truck, which I didn't hit on, but inside of here is an exhaust diverter switch. So one thing everybody hates, right, is having the exhaust right here at your feet on the passenger side coming out while you're filling bottles there's an actual exhaust pipe on both sides of the truck so when they're running the convert the compressor they can hit this button shoot the exhaust out the driver's side rather than just out the passenger side that's the first one we've done with it great idea pretty unique and working our way back here notice it's got a drop down step on this compartment uh, so this is the Rosenbauer step, it holds 800 pounds on our extruded body, it's pretty neat, but you don't have to do it on every compartment. So these guys are putting some 6x6 storage up here and some, some big lumber, so we put it on this compartment and on the other side just to give them a little bit easier access. Light tower up top, it's one of the new command lights. Got a uh, full awning on both sides. Pretty cool. Working our way on the uh, back of the truck here. One of the, working our way back here, we got a uh, walk up step out the back. This is cool, an additional uh, push, push the pin, hydraulic step. So just get your way up to the back. The stairway up the back uh, is a huge, huge advantage whenever it comes to getting stuff off the top of the truck. A couple of coffin compartments on both sides, 
One unique thing you might be able to tell, it's kind of daylight out here, but we have lighted numbers on the back of the truck, which is cool. This is the first one we've done it on. It's kind of a unique feature for these guys. Again, we're gonna weigh this way. Again, just a ton more storage, transverse storage inside of here. So the transverse is huge underneath the stairway, rather than storage coming straight in from the back. A little bit different. SeaTech storage box inside of here. Uh, so opposite side of the compressor. One thing that's pretty neat too, is we got this huge electrical connection right here. So this goes into the generator, but you actually can uncouple this and then put it into the firehouse directly. So when they want to run the compressor inside the engine house, the truck doesn't have to be run and generator doesn't have to be run and nothing like that. They can actually just go electric straight from the engine house and run the compressor. Pretty cool. And again, the SeaTech storage boxes, we do a ton of these things. Uh, it's really heavy duty, great for organizational stuff. Airbag storage module inside of here. They got a couple of huge bags, so that's where this one's laying flat. But again, Profusion made this, which is way cool. Uh, you saw the light tower going up. Light tower controllers in here. It's a command light tower. Uh, this is one of the newer ones. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but there's eight uh, 28,000 lumen heads on it. So it's the largest light tower the command light makes that I know of that's on the market. A lot of cameras all the way around it. It's got the uh, fire research, uh, I believe it's the InView or inside one of those two, but anyway, it's got a 360 camera system all the way around it as well. Uh, compressor is a 40 horsepower direct drive PTO compressor. So it's kind of laying underneath of there. That's why the truck, when the compressor, or when the generator, the generator is a 40 kW. When the generator comes on and kicks in a high idle, direct drives that. Cummins uh, L9 engine, 450 horsepower. Again, just a, a ton of room, a ton of height inside the Commander. So like I said, Monarch's first Rosenbauer. We're really excited uh, for these guys. Thank you very much for your confidence in Sentinel and Rosenbauer. For more information, you can go to sentineles.com, our website, or uh, check on Facebook, obviously, and there'll be drawings and more pictures and things like that. So check out Sentinel's Facebook page and or website for more information. Thanks, everybody.